detecting There's sulfur deposits in the local cave systems. Sulfur is an essential component of the repair tool. No! Oh! Everything Copper wants to kill me! Ah! Powered equipment. Your probability of survival has just increased to unlikely, but plausible oxygen. Oh, get us surrounded. Hi guys, I'm Raging Diesel, and welcome to our first episode of Subnautica. Now with Subnautica 2 just around the bend, I thought I'd go back to this game that I played once before but never finished. And I thought I'd bring you along with me. And since it's kind of in a survival genre, we'll go ahead and bring it to a playlist. Now this playthrough will come through every Monday and we'll try to get all the way to the completion. And Subnautica 2 being a multiplayer game, hopefully we'll bring that to you too. Now, if you can, please refrain from any spoilers, but I do encourage plenty of tips and suggestions on how to improve my gameplay. Now, I did get pretty far in the game, but not completely to the end. So the first part of the game I'm kind of familiar with, and if you can know of any tips or tricks, please let me know. But without further ado, let's get rolling. Uh oh, abandoned ship. Oh, escape pod. Now I've seen this all before. And if you're not new to it, I won't give you any spoilers. You'll experience this for the first time if you like. Oh, that's not good. Uh oh. Batten them down. Uh oh. Oh. Ouch. Oh, fire. Oh. <laughs> Okay, we do you have, have our little minor track head pad. trauma. This is considered an optimal outcome. This PDA has now rebooted in emergency mode with one directive to keep you alive on an alien world. Please refer to the data bank for detailed survival advice. Good luck. Now the PDA gives you a lot of stuff to do. It gives you blueprints for building things. You can toggle on and off on a life, uh, on your heads up display. Press tab to open the PDA. And this is all the messages you're getting started. Suffered head trauma. That's just what he just, they just said to me. And you can press tab to close the PDA. The fabricator medical kit. My health is slightly down, so I'll be okay just now. Let's see if we open it. Pick up the first aid kit. It's now in my inventory. So it looks like we have uh Eight times six is 48 slots in our inventory. And it looks like we have things to upgrade here. Suit, goggles, maybe weapons, chips, data chips, upgrades. Oh, we have a storage container here. And here's our storage container here. Looks like we have some nutrient blocks couple flares and some water. After we used to hit the tap button to release. Secondary systems. We need the user repair tool, which we don't have in our inventory just yet. And 
a fabricator, which helps us make things like deployables, equipment, tools, and what am I gonna need to make the repair tool? We need silicone rubber, cave sulfur, and titanium. A scanner, we'll need to get that. Survival knife, some of these are the basics that we need to get. Food and water, and resources we can make. Electronics. Silicone rubber is made from creep vine clusters. So we need to do that. So we're gonna wanna get the repair tool and get this thing started. So tools, let's start with that. Cave sulfur and titanium. It's just damaged radio. Use the repair tool. Oh, I need to repair that as well. And it looks like it health kits regenerate so from here. Okay, well I'm gonna open the storage container again and I'm gonna take this and set it in here. And I'm gonna hold on to this just in case we need it. Let's go ahead and head up outside. suffered orbital health failure cause unknown zero human life signs detected I'm alone oh my gosh well we're gonna have to explore the area it looks like it's this is subnautica so I guess we have to explore the area around us let's take a quick look So I downloaded this game on Steam and I had it before on a different game, but I couldn't find it. So I had to re repurchase the game. Limestone outcrop. So we got our titanium. I'm sure this life here will if you notice here on our bar to the lower left our critical thing is our oxygen we have like 45 seconds of oxygen our health is up like 90 percent hunger is, is about 33 percent and our water is down to about 80 or 75 percent so let's We're gonna have to think about getting food and water, but first things first, let's grab our basics out of here. We're gonna need to get those first three things. So let's grab a bunch of titanium, maybe some, oh, these. Alien life forms may have unexpected applications. Utilizing alien resources is a proven survival strategy. Take this, I think you can, uh, Oxygen. oh, I think with these, you can actually uh, get water out of them or air. I can't remember. Oh, I let him go. Okay. Now it's there. How do you put them in your backpack? Yeah, let him go again. Where'd he go? Got him. That's, uh, I hate being on the surface because you can't see anything 
What's beneath this? There we go. Got to figure out how to take them directly to my inventory. Scrap metal. Can we use that? Table coral. I know all these resources you could use, like acids you use for certain things. Acid mushrooms. Uh, some of these fish you can cook and eat with the fabricator. Oxygen. Oh. Eat something. My hunger's down to 30%. Let's uh, see what we can eat out of this. Oh, wow. The metal salvage takes up a lot of space. If you can figure out how that goes directly into my inventory and out of my hands. Let's uh, head back. Can we get up underneath? Yeah, I thought there was a thing. Right. Where's the fabricator? Cooked food. It's a. I thought we could eat the fish. And. Bladder fish, they do make water. Go ahead and eat that. Consume. Oh, I used the health kit too. Dog. Well, made a mistake with that. Let's let's uh double check. Our tools, I think, here. It's one type a scanner, that's a battery. We'll have to get to that. But the tools, I want the repair tool. One, I don't know if it's one titanium or more, but we're going to get case sulfur and silicone rubber. And I know we needed um, Oh, it's dark. Oh my gosh. This makes it a lot different because you can't see anything here let's gather some let's grab some extra food and water until we can We'll stay in the shallows here for a little bit. Oxygen. Oh. And try to get some food and water. See, there's, we know how far away we are. We're still in the shadows. Oh, I missed him. Gonna need more than one of those. What's that? Can we eat that? I guess not. Oxygen. Increased local radiation levels. Trend is consistent with damage to the Aurora's drive core sustained during Planet 4. Let's see if we can get get our food and water here. No. 
Oh, it's... That's good. I'm gonna equip this to three. I think that's how you equip it to three. Or maybe just have to click on it. We got some food. Let's see if we can, uh... Let's see if we can make some more food. And some more water. Can we make more? I must have more and more. Okay, we don't have any more of that. We have more cook food. No. Okay. Our food is still 40%, so we're going to have to eat a lot. That's up to 80. Our water's down to 74, so we got some extra water. Let's uh, see if the sun's coming back up yet. I know the days are quick in this game, but it's still night. radiation so we need to get cave rubber and we also need uh what was it let's go up here to the beginning and we needed that other other thing silicone rubber needs creep vine seed clusters so creep vines Increase the little radiation. Alien life on. Oh, okay. Uh, equipment. Repair tool. If you want to research all this, you can. Vehicles. Oh, we got vehicles in the game. There's power. Building. Oh, the sun's back up. Great. Let's uh, try to find cave sulfur and uh, cave sulfur would probably be in caves. Look at the size of the... Wow. Okay. Stay focused. We need to find a cave. That wasn't a cave. Oxygen. That's a thermal vent. I know that's one way we can get power. We need to find caves. So I'm going to head down here, I think, and look for a cave. Maybe that's a creep vine over there. Here's a cave. Oh, wow. What's this? Quartz? Is this here? A creature egg. Are you... Oh, another creature egg. Oxygen. I didn't see any caves so far. Let's go grab this creep vine cluster. Maybe we can find a cave or something. There's creep vines. So these are the clusters, I think. Grab them. Whoa! Whoa! What was that? Something was chomping at me. 
life on this planet grows in unusually distinct and diverse ecological biomes. Further study recommended. Was it that? Oxygen. Oh. I know if you run out of oxygen, you will die. We got our creep vines, so we just need to find a cave. Let's uh, go around these cliff faces and see if we can find a cave. It shouldn't be that far away. Those things sound scary. I can remember them. They were one of the first, I guess, predators in, in the game. Cave down here, maybe? Let's uh, get our oxygen going. Oxygen. <sighs> Radiation levels. I might want to stay away from the... Stay away from the ship if I can. Where's our life pod? Okay, we're working our way back toward there. No cave. this here this looks like a cake oh Sulfur. Let's go get that repair tool made and we'll work on the next thing here. Oxygen. All right. Fabricator. Here. Oh, we need to make silicone rubber. So first we need to make the resources. Silicone rubber. Okay, we got that. Tools, repair tool. We have the silicone rubber, cave sulfur and the titanium. There we go, we have the repair tool. Ow! Let's go ahead and repair the this. Oh, ooh, it repairs itself. Life pod secondary systems online. Running full environment diagnostic and outputting results to data bank. Great. A lot of this stuff you can read. Go ahead and use the repair tool on this. Radio. Okay, we got a distress signal. Let's play the message. This is Aurora. Distress signal received. Rescue operation will be dispatched to your location in nine, 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 nine. hours. Continue to monitor for emergency transmissions from other life pods. Other life pods. I mean, are there other, other survivors that maybe got off like we did? That's not full yet. Let's uh, drop off some of this water. Let's drop these off. I'm going to put... Oh, that's in one. So that's good. We got extra rubber, quartz, and more grapevine clusters. Let's go ahead and put that in there too. And that. We got some water here with us, but we're gonna need food again. So we'll keep an eye on getting food as well. Let's look at this fabricator again and see what our, oh, Sea Glide. Ingredients unknown. Mobile vehicle bay. 
a waterproof locker. It only takes four titanium. I'm sure that this is gonna this is gonna fill up quite quickly, so we'll need to get those lockers, I think. Tools. I know we had a scanner, and I guess this spectroscope scanner is used to acquire technology. Oh, we need to get that then. And we'll definitely need a flashlight and a survival knife. So we need titanium, a battery, resources. A battery takes two acid mushrooms and two copper ore. Okay. Wiring kit, silver ore, computer chip, table coral. That's what we've seen before. And gold. Okay. Copper wire, two copper ore. So we need copper ore, acid, more acid mushrooms, and titanium. Okay. It's a, there's some acid mushrooms. So let's go ahead and grab that. I don't want to grab too many. And we need to look for those outcroppings that gave us titanium. Oh, maybe we can get titanium out of those uh, that scrap metal. Let's see. Not that. Let's grab that scrap metal. Gotta remember that. Resources. Basic materials. Titanium you can use from the metal salvage. We got four pieces. Okay, so now to get that battery, we just need some copper. Let's put this away. Along with the acid mushrooms. And we're going to go ahead and cook a drink. Oh, wow. That didn't give us much. Food and water again. Okay. Let's grab some more food and water. Fish for days, I guess we'll be all right. More water. Can I grab you? No. like a walrus. Oh! Oh! Oh, he didn't like that at all. What's he... What's he got in his mouth? Oh, he's picking up scrap metal. If I can lose him, table core. Oh, I'm gonna need some way to get it. I can't get it off. Oxygen. Looks like we'll have to get that table core. We're gonna have to get that. We're gonna have to get a knife or something. We're gonna need a weapon. Now that we got food and water. The 
dust of the synthetic foods to be repulsed by eating an animal carcass. Remember that humans survived this way for millennia. You can too. Definitely need gonna need more water. More food and water. It looks like water seems to be that brought everything up. Water's up to top. We're nearly topped off. But we'll make sure every time we go down that we get at least a couple fish before we come back. Oh, I wanted to check. I need to get a weapon. I saw it here. Tools. Survival knife. So we need silicone rubber, titanium. We have that. Silicone rubber and titanium. Gotta learn to hit the tab. Uh, here, tools. Air bladder. Emergency flotation of chemical reaction produces lighter than air gas for fast personal buoyancy. Well, that might be a... Well, I'll have to get more rubber. I think I'll get the combat knife first. Weapons were removed from standard awesome. survival blueprints following the massacre on Abraxas Prime. The knife remains the only exception. Okay. Now. I'm going to need the scanner so we can get more things. There's more fish. Those guys are fast. Got him. What we got here? No. Nope. More metal salvage. Then you can make titanium out of that. But we need. Oh, we definitely need that flashlight. Oxygen. Oh. Oxygen. My goodness. Let's go back to them creep vines and grab a few more of them so we can make more silicone rubber. We need to find the copper, though. Oh, that's fine. No, I don't want to do that. That's a... Uh, hit four. Come on! We need longer air time. Caution. Continued degradation of the Aurora's drive core may result in a quantum detonation. Continuing to monitor. Okay, we cracked up more of those. Those are easy to catch. So we we'll, won't we'll be hurting for Oxygen. water. Let's grab a couple more pieces of food so we'll be good. While it's dark, so it looks like the days are really short. We needed copper, but it's dark, so let's go ahead and make up some of this food. small organisms while disposing of the skeletal structure, bodily fluids, and internal organs, thus rendering them safe for human consumption. All right, plenty of food and water now. We should be good. Um, we definitely need to get the flashlight. So 
what do we need for that? I know that's probably that way we can scavenge at night when it's dark out if it's going to be like that battery and glass so we need the scanner with a battery as well so battery we're looking at getting batteries to get a battery we need acid mushrooms and copper so we still need to find the copper without having any I'm gonna grab a couple more of those. And you can't see anything here. I'm gonna to try to lighten this up for you, but it is dark as heck here. And I know there's those nodules like rocks that you break up. Put this in our hand. Oh, wow! Oh! can't see anything. I didn't even know he was there. I can't see a thing. Think. We're going to have to wait till daylight. one of them crazy ass seahorses ah! ah! sun's coming back up maybe we can find some of that copper now did I lose him? I'm trying to lose him. Oxygen. Let's look in these cave. Oh, well, shit! There's copper. Deposits in the local cave systems. Sulfur is an essential component of the repair tool. No! Oh! Everything copper wants to kill me! Essential component ah! of powered equipment. Your probability of survival has just increased to unlikely, but plausible. Oxygen. Oh! I'm gonna surround it! Oh, gold and copper. Okay, that's gold. We need a couple more pieces of copper. Let's go down here and see if we can find some more. Oh no, not another one! Ow! Gosh. Oh, our health is way down. That's crazy. Oh my. See if we can make one battery at least get the scanner. Oh, medical kit. Looks like there's one ready. Let's go ahead and use it. Oh, it only gave you like 50%. Okay. Fabricator. Okay, we got a battery. Near blueprint acquired. Power cell. Cool. Okay, now we got a battery. What do we need for the scanner and the flashlight? Glass. So how do we get glass? Glass. Two quartz. Do I have two quartz? I thought I had...
I only have one. So we need a quartz. Get the flashlight. And titanium. So let's get the scanner. We have the titanium, right? Right. Let's put some of this water away. Um. Looks like I got some more fish to cook. Oh, I cooked a water fish. That's okay. Let's go ahead and consume that. Oh. So our food's up to 114. Water's up to 100. Now that it's up, looks like our our health is going up. Now, we were fabricating the scanner. The scanner can be there used go. to synthesize blueprints from salvage technology and to record alien biological data. Okay, we got water and food. We need to get some more quartz. Let's go find that cave again. Oh, what's in here? Beacon fragment. Hey. Gravity trap fragment. We needed quartz. A lot of things to scan. Uh oh. I need to find quartz. Oh, the table coral. I think we needed that for something. Let's grab two. Oh, quartz! There. More copper. Oh, there's more quartz here, too. Oh. Uh-oh. It's getting dark! It's getting dark! No! <gasps> oh, that's oh, just been too scary. Let's get back. And finish up our tools before we call it for the day. Can we make... We need another battery. Right? But we need ash and mushrooms. Another battery. Now we can go down here to tools. What did we need for the... Got the scanner. We need the glass. Okay, we need to make glass. Right now, all we need now, oops, oh. flashlight. Oh my god, we've got a flashlight. Okay, it's under three. I think that will work. And that looks like it's not looking good. 
But that's all the time we have for today. So if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for future content. Don't forget to ring the bell and comment down below. You know, I love your comments. They give me great feedback and they help the channel grow. So until next time, this is Raging Diesel saying, keep the shiny side up. Goodbye, everybody.